Today I'm joined by a very special guest, Safi, who was a finalist in the Miss Nigeria UK competition. So obviously pageants are really focused a lot on physical beauty, but Miss Nigeria UK is also really focused on celebrating Nigerian culture and empowering young women. Um, what kind of things did you have to do as part of the competition? We had like four main rounds in the pageant and the first one was obviously the introduction. Following the introduction we had the talent round and then after that we had the traditional round. Now this one was very focused on the Nigerian culture and then after that round was the final round where we had to give a speech so we were dressed in our evening wear and then we had to give a speech based off of why we wanted to be crowned Miss Nigeria UK and so yeah that's like it was it was very it seems very little but it took a while to actually get everything together and it was it was a really good experience. What did you do for your talent round? Um, I did a uh, spoken words a monologue kind of it was about um, our lives matter so I had a brand every day for a day they gave me a sweatshirt as part of my sponsorship match basically it was with the whole black lives matter movement i related it to a lot of things currently there's the whole nsars movement obviously the movement haven't hadn't started but the problem was already there it was just me saying that our lives are important no matter where we are do you have a favorite memory from your time competing i would say the actual pageant day because I had the most, in fact, the most amazing, amazing glam squad. Their energy made me excited. But um, I would say the memory that did top that was um, when we had, because we had to do um, weekly challenges because obviously with the lockdown, we couldn't do physical rehearsals. One of the challenges was the Meet My Mama challenge. And I had the most beautiful conversation with my sister. And then I also got to speak to my mama. It was just beautiful because I had to have, have like, this really deep conversations with them and also I had the opportunity to appreciate the women in my life because my mom's late at the moment but I've got so many amazing amazing mother figures in my life which is why I mentioned my sister and my mama. It's amazing. I would, whenever I was doing research on you I was getting exhausted just looking at all the things that you were doing. I was like I'm like the sat in my bed it's too much. Um, so on top of having a blog doing the Miss Nigeria UK uh, you're also a law graduate so how do you find managing your time between all of these things, especially whenever you were at uni and studying? It was absolutely insane. Because obviously most of the things have started during now. The good thing is I did not start them until after I had finished my first degree, which was my undergrad. But the good thing is I don't do them all at once. Yeah. So the ideas yeah. come and they go. So yeah, it's kind of like you just need to find out a way to balance it all because currently I have a job as well, which is pretty much almost a nine to five. So it's like, I, I just have to prioritize. I know that this is where I want to go. So it's a sacrifice that I have to make. It's not every weekend I'm available. It's not every day of the week I'm available, but I do make time to relax. I make it, I have people that are always breathing down my neck. They're like, have you rested today? Have you eaten? Are you taking a break? So, you just need to have like sort of like accountability partners through life and then you have to be accountable to yourself you have to be disciplined and speaking of things you want to achieve since you're clearly very ambitious do you have <laughs> any big goals for the future like big plans well i want to be an author i want to i want to publish my own book <laughs> i do want to be a ceo i want to have my own business so i want to um obviously i've started with the small things like the blog but um one other thing I want to do currently is I'm going to pursue my legal career. So um, I just obviously finished my master's and I'm, in the, I'm at the space where I'm like, yeah, I don't know. No more school for me and no more uni for me. But um, obviously now it's just me taking a break from that. But eventually I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to pursue my legal career. Hopefully I can start my own practice. And that's what I have in works for now. Obviously there are other business ideas, but the ones that are solid for now is I want to, I want to actually make my blog and my talk show bigger than it is right now and I want to be an author and yeah I want to be a CEO it might be CEO of like five different things I don't know yet but I do know I want to be a CEO so yeah <laughs> <laughs> well it sounds like a very exciting future a lot more plans <laughs> set in stone than I have right now <laughs> genuinely thank you so much um thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and chat to me that was very insightful and I can't wait to see what the future holds for Seth. Me too. <laughs> Hopefully everything comes into fruition. <laughs>